Concerns growing over a homeless encampment near some Little League baseball fields in Encino. Coaches there say they found needles in the dugouts and equipment stored at the fields have been stolen. Eyewitness News reporter Tim Caputo is there live now with what the area's council member is doing about it. Tim. Yeah, they're trying to help out in this. You see behind me kids on the baseball field as we speak behind the baseball field past the batting cages up on the hill. There are a number of tents up there. That encampment has apparently grown over recent days, and it's not just the proximity of this homeless encampment that has bothered parents. It's the fact that apparently at night, many of the folks who live there are coming down onto this property and either doing drugs or stealing equipment. A disturbing find in a Little League dugout, and it has parents in Encino crying foul. We've walked in, we've seen uh, needles in some of our dugouts in the morning, so I actually come by before work, drive through the property, check. Uh, we've got a great maintenance crew here that uh, checks to make sure that everything's safe, and we've picked up plenty of needles. It's just one issue of the ongoing battle the last few weeks, a homeless encampment literally looming over the Encino Little League baseball fields. Parents and Little League board members say those who live at the encampment rarely enter the property during games, but clearly come down at night. They are constantly stealing our stuff, going into the sheds, sleeping in the sheds, and it's been a big issue for the kids. These are photos of items reportedly recovered at the homeless encampment. Bats, balls, gloves, jerseys, catcher's equipment, you name it, it's been stolen. We've actually gone up there to try to retrieve some and gotten it back, and when asked why they've even taken them, they say, oh, well, we just go to play it against sports, which is now closed, and they just sell them. Recently, a fire broke out at one of the encampments, which was nestled in the woods between the ball fields and the 101. Caltrans was called in because it was their land, and needless to say, they weren't met with open arms. This guy came out of the encampment waving a machete in front of us and, and Caltrans, just waving a big knife, chopping the uh, edges down. The Little League has contacted city leaders in the hope they could help move the encampment farther from where hundreds of kids spend their afternoons. In a statement, Los Angeles City Council member Nithya Rahman wrote, our office has worked swiftly and effectively to address encampments that have come up in this area in the past, and this time is no different. As soon as we were alerted about these new individuals, we have been working to bring outreach and housing resources to the site and bring people indoors. Now, some of the members of the Little League uh, board have tried to talk to the folks who live at the encampment. They say one man lives there essentially full time, and there may be three or four others who are occasionally here. They've tried to have cordial conversation to get them to move at least farther away from these baseball fields, but it appears at this point they're in this stalemate. We're live in Encino. Tim Caputo, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.